it's hard for a parent to accept that there's something wrong with their child. He didn't care if he was alone in a room or if there was someone there. He didn't like to play like a normal child. Um, he wouldn't look you in the eye when you talk to him. He had some games and things that educational games that he played on the iPad and that's basically all he would want to do. So that's how we knew his brain was working. We knew he was smart. He just wasn't communicating at all. Uh, he was very slow to crawl, slow to walk. And in the beginning he started saying a few syllables. He said mama. Um, and then all of a sudden he was quiet. Nothing. He would scream if he wanted anything. Very unresponsive. You're going to pin it. You're going to what? Pin it. What's pin? You're going to at the beginning, uh, I was just trying to get him comfortable with therapy, so we would just try to play, and I would try not to put any pressure on him because um, we were pretty sure fairly early on that Micah has um, or was showing Wait, symptoms of something called. Wait, Miss Wendy, I, I don't put the shapes on, okay? Okay, you put the shapes on. Developmental apraxia of speech, which is a motor planning disorder. Wait, you. You got it. And so um, what that means is that it was really hard for his mouth to do kind of what his brain was telling him to do. And Micah was very smart, is very smart, and kind of knew early on that that was hard for him. So if he thought that it was gonna be hard for him, he just shut down and he wouldn't even try. So at first we just kind of took things easy and played a lot and I tried to get him to imitate some things here and there, some sounds. Um, but if I pushed too hard, Micah would just completely shut down. He wouldn't look at me, he wouldn't play with me, and he would just start to cry. With occupational therapy, um, which helps to work on motor planning as a whole, in the whole body, as well as um, helping him to attend for longer periods of time and helping him to be more aware of where his muscles are and how everything kind of works, he started to do a little bit better. And we just started with simple sounds and putting sounds together. At the beginning, we... He couldn't even say a, a, a one-syllable word, like up. Uh, we had to say uh, but now he's talking in full sentences and doing a really good job. He's been really fun to work with, and um, part of the reason for that is because his mom and dad, um, Kristen and Kevin, worked Daddy, so hard with him you? at home. It was amazing. Just the kindness and the caring of, of the therapist here speak wonders for this program. He he worked hard because he knew that Miss Lindsay and Miss Cheryl cared. Kids can see that. Good job, Mr. Micah. We're so grateful to the Martin Pediatric Therapies because they did make that possible for Micah to change, for Micah to have a teacher. Miss Lindsay and Miss Cheryl made that possible.